Dr. Bala Devi Chandrasekhar and friends. First of all, <coughs> I would like to thank Fani Fine Arts in the persons of our dear Shiva Shakti and Shiva Nation for bringing us such a tour de force. <laughs> I was also happy to find that Dr. Chandrasekhar and my wife and I share, a, um, as it were, an alma mater in the form of Anamale University, where I had the privilege of being in the music college in 1950. Trinity Bala Davies. Tour de force, I used that word already. What a sustaining presence. Solo, okay with a recorded accompaniment, but without the actual presence of the musicians and the Nakavangam with whom she could, as it were, have eye contact from time to time to, to uh, be <laughs> revivified in a sense, not that she needs that, is of itself true. <laughs> it also showed something else that struck me particularly fairly early on during the portion where the Raga was Kedaram. And that was Bala Devi's obvious deep love of an acquaintance with the Chora Bronzes. Works of art they are, magnificent specimens of Sir Perdue and all the rest of it connected with uh, uh, casting of the bronzes, but they are so much more. Remember that the, the image's eyes are opened and he or she can admire himself or herself in the mirror at the ceremony of the sanctification, if you will, of the image. And Srimati Baladini shows that total rapport, not only with the evidence of the Chola architecture itself, but also with the Pakabhajan is not the right word, but the accompanying outpouring that took place from the 9th to the 12th century of thinking of Dharasaram. She also touched on paintings Tanjago shares so much, not only with the sight itself, a sense of humour is always there. A sense of humour, a sense of proportion was always there, and you could see that in Dr. Chandrasekhar's dance at several points. Humour, she could not repress it, nor should it be repressed. It is a part of the love of God. This is an evening that I think will last in our heads and our hearts and our minds for many a long day.